Hey everybody, it's morning again. John and I are headed out to do the things we didn't get to do yesterday because we found out we were driving illegally. We are no longer illegal. We have the right tags on our car and we are good to go. This is my last day. Well, I guess tomorrow technically is the last day of school, but they get out early. So this is my last day until August that I won't have three kids in tow, I'll only have one. Except, I've got a little bear with me today. John keeps running away from me. He's addicted to that trampoline. Little does he know we're not taking that trampoline with us because there's no netting around it. So we're gonna be selling it at our garage sale. Little does he know the binky's gone and the trampoline's gone in about 30 seconds. Yay for John! Okay, I'll let him jump for just a minute, but then we have to get in the car. All right, John? For a minute, but then we have to get in the car and go bye-bye, okay? Okay, you have to come give me Binky. Thank you. So, with a new house that we're moving to, there's not a built-in microwave. Now, the house that we're currently living in, there was, there is, a microwave above the stove but it was really weird for the longest time I think that the owner of the house that we're renting now had purchased it off of Craigslist and had never really tried it before and it wouldn't work for the longest time the wire he'd wired it wrong I don't know something wasn't right so we needed to get another microwave and we just went to Walmart and got a microwave and so we had two microwaves but the one didn't work but there was a problem with that microwave. What's the matter, John? Oh, that's just a dress I need to return. I didn't like it. You can hold Elmo. I'll, I'll move it up here so that you don't have to worry about it. There's that better? So anyway, this microwave came with a problem and the problem was that there were cockroaches living inside of it. Apparently, that's something that happens with microwaves. I read about it, we, we read about it after we figured this out. All of a sudden, we had cockroaches in our house and we were trying to figure out what in the world was wrong. Now this was a year and a half, no actually almost two years ago, it was right before John was born. And there were cockroaches everywhere and it was disgusting. I had never lived with cockroaches before and we scoured the place again and I thought, what are we doing wrong? What's the matter? Well, like I said, come to find out, we realized that um, the problem was coming from that microwave that we had bought from Walmart. Oh no is right, John. It was a mess. So we bought this special stuff off of Amazon. If you need to know how to kill cockroaches, we have the cure. I don't remember the name of it, but if you have that, if you're wondering, ask in the comments below and we'll look it up for you. But then we also got rid, we, we just, it was, even though it was a brand new microwave, we just threw it out because, you know, you don't want cockroaches in your house. So we are cockroach free and have been cockroach free for a year and a half. So I have a fear and my fear is what's gonna happen in our new house? We have to buy a microwave. How do we make sure that there's no cockroaches? I don't want cockroaches again. I guess we don't know. We just take a leap of faith and buy a microwave because you can't go without a microwave. So if you didn't know, Joe is an attorney. He's been an attorney for a couple of years now. Anyway, one of the things that he does is he's an attorney for railroads and he helps them take care of the disputes about railroad crossings. So I'm really thankful because that's part of jo Joe's job and it gives us money. But then there's times like this, let me show you. See, I'm stopped at a railroad crossing. And even though this gives us our livelihood in some ways, the railroad crossings, I still don't like it very much. No joke, we are at our second train crossing and we are stuck. And this time, I really can't turn around because I'm in the city. Well, the garbage man did it. The garbage man just slipped a U-turn. This one's going pretty fast though. Yep, there are trains everywhere here. I don't know if you can see that sign. You see that? I know that I've talked a lot this morning, but John and I had a long drive to get here to town to get everything done. And you know, you never know, you never know when 
you're going to have a spiritual experience, an experience where you just, you just feel good in your soul. And that happened to me. Sorry, I'm crying. I've got my sunglasses to cover that up. But, um, I was just, I found we had this in our CD player in our car, this CD, it's the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. And it's the title is consider the lilies. You can find this on Spotify or iTunes. Um, and I just was listening to it. All of these songs about Jesus Christ have just really touched me. The one that really touched my heart today was a song called I Believe in Christ. So I hope that you'll look it up and, and listen to it if you need a spiritual boost in your life. After every song that played sweet little John back here said, oh, he was sad that the song was over. And when the next song came on, he would clap his hands. I know that John knows that Jesus loves him. John's really been working on putting his flip-flops on today. And he did this all by himself. Hmm. Do they look good, John? Maybe you should go get Rebecca. Yeah. No. <laughs> what is it? What is that? It's going to go tell her? Figure out what it is. Can you hear that, everybody? Rebecca is upstairs practicing her tap dancing. You have stuff to color with downstairs, remember? No, you don't get to be mean. Come on, Johnny, let's go downstairs. What are you gonna do up here? Are you going to dance? That goes on there, but the light was too bright. Mm -hmm. My hand is Alright, John, gotta go downstairs. You can take that with you. Actually, you can. That needs to stay up here. Oh, where'd it go? The flower, where'd it go? The flower was bending. That look. The flower was bending and it broke. Oh, that's too bad. That's the flower you got for the dance recital, isn't it? Uh-huh. All right, turkey, come on. Oh, oh. Gotta go downstairs. It's time for dinner. Let's go have some dinner. I'm getting wet. I'm sweating. Yeah. I know. It is so hot in this house. We've been begging for summer to come, but it came before we moved.